It was back around 2015 when we were first introduced to this guy. Not a lot of people really knew who he was, but my goodness, were we about to find out or what? He is a multiple South African Music Award winner. His albums and records all go platinum. He's a songwriter, he's a musician, he's a producer, entrepreneur, philanthropist. We could go on for days. Now, he can add... I think in a couple of years time, he's gonna have to add Grammy Award winner to his resume because that's how quality this guy's work is. He joins me in the studio once again. So happy to have him. Trezor, welcome to the 947 Top 40. Thank you so much, brother. Great seeing you again, man. Yeah, nice yeah, my man, really good to see you. The last time I saw you, I think, was at Anela's party where Co she returned a Correct. couple of weeks ago. Correct, I just get crashed the party, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull up them Zex. I was not invited, but I came through. You should never tell us that you weren't invited because now we know to look for the next, the next time, yeah? <laughs> no, no, man, like, of course, I was running this fan. So. Yeah, man, oh, so good to have you on. And a little bit earlier when we were taking pictures, because <laughs> Trezor's looking looking so dapper today. Tesla was saying to Nondu, our social media producer, and saying, uh, so you're not going to get my full outfit in this. Like, well, what's going on? I was so offended, man. I couldn't <laughs> believe her, bro. Like, imagine. All the efforts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, look, I mean, first of all, congratulations on all the success. It feels like every day we wake up now, and it's like, Tesla has done something new, and how is this experience? I can just imagine, how has this been for you, this whirlwind? Because You've obviously been at it for years. You've been working with a lot of different artists all over the continent, and now you're getting calls from all over the globe. How has this entire process been for you, bro? Man, you know, it, it's crazy because you, you, you're probably one of the very few people on radio that have seen my journey from the first time we submitted yeah. my first song. <laughs> and it's been such a blessing, you know. Sometimes it feels like an out-of-body experience yeah. because I get to do the work, then I get to see it fly and really find its own life around the world. Mm. And just people reaching out from different parts of the world relating to the music. It's been possibly the, the greatest feeling I've had as a crea creative, you know. Yeah. Like, um, it's 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 very fulfilling for me because I've been I've had these dreams since I was very young, you yeah. know. And for a lot of people where I come from, it's like it's almost impossible, and mm -hmm. you cannot imagine actually scratching or reaching the level that I've managed. I've been blessed to you know to be at, and yeah. it's really amazing, man. And I feel like there's still so much more to come. Yeah, definitely is a lot more to come, and you know this is all I guess just the hard work and the passion and the years that you've been putting in. And I, I love what you just said right now that, you know, it's one of those things that are just unbelievable. And what I love about all of this is that there are so many young children that are sitting there and they're like, oh my goodness, I too can produce for Drake. I can also make it in the States and not just here in South Africa. How did this all start? Because I think I just sit here and I think and I'm like, she was... When did you get a call randomly one day? You know, how did it get here? And that's crazy, right? I think the whole aim, actually, the whole um, um, uh, beautiful um, reason for all this to happen, really, and I think the aim is to really inspire a lot of African creatives and musicians yeah. that, man, you gotta put your all in your work all the time. Don't ever settle for anything less than than your very best, you know? Uh -huh. and. My work, you know, I've been, as you were, I've been really just like back to back in the last five, six years, like Literally. putting project out <laughs> yeah. every year yeah. and just making sure for me, I have a threshold of quality that I hold toward myself, you know, mm. um, and that to work, find it where the music really found the way for me, you know, and yeah. um, <laughs> like toward mid last year, I got reached out, you know, first um, to just like, we really love what you're doing, we love the mm. music, we love everything you're doing. We just want to let you know that, you know. My gosh. Uh, and I got to really do some really incredible things, like things that I could never imagine of being on a song with Metallica and, and right. you know, at the same time, you know, um, you know, working and writing, uh, you know, uh, music with Drake and just mm. been a really incredible, man, incredible journey. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely has been an incredible journey. and. Do you feel some sort of pressure, you know, if you're working with the likes of Drake, Metallica? You've been doing it for a while, you're obviously doing it locally, but is it different when you're doing it now for someone like a Drake? No, I don't think so, man. Like, yeah. I've, you know, over time, because I've, I've, I've traveled the journey and, and it's been really years, I know, like, you know, when I walk in the room, there's something special that I bring, mm -hmm. you know, and I always make sure I stay 
true to myself, you know, and because you know, uh, there's no imposter syndrome, man. Like I'm, yeah. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Because for the longest time, <laughs> I think once. people always talk with me like, oh man, I feel you could be a beggar. I feel you could be, and in my head, mm. like the person I am, I always have peace with my my path and my journey and my yeah. purpose all the time. Throughout, so I've never felt like I'm way uh, behind. Uh, to where I should have been, you know, I've mm. never felt that way, and I feel like every single time things happen on time, and I'm always on time, and my purpose yeah. always happen and roll the stuff in time, and and with everything that's been happening this past year, this past twelve months, man, I felt like I've been ready, mm. and now like the doors have opened, and sure. I'm just trying to really build and focus on that along the way, as well, just having a lot of fun, enjoying the moment. Yeah. Yeah, love that. It's Trezor season right now all over in the music world and he's still in studio. We're going to get into some more chats in the next couple of moments. So we're still hanging out with Trezor on the 947 Top 40 powered by CTM and in that intro we probably heard about 20 million different variations of how people say your name. Can we get this settled once and for all? Because it's actually at work the other time. I think it's Hulisani. Everyone always thinks, oh, why are you trying to be fancy and saying Trezor's name like that? How, how do you pronounce your name? He's been saying right, Trezor. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and he was like, no, it's like you've got to get the pronunciation right. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, look, my man, I mean, you just heard that intro. All of these accolades, so many incredible things that have happened for you throughout your career. But I know a very big part of your success and a very big part of the person that you are is your big heart with all of the philanthropy, the charity work that you do. How important is that for you, you know, to carry on doing that good work outside of Trezor, the actual superstar? Um, I think it's very fulfilling for me and I think the essence, that, um, the essence of who I am is, a, is just as a human being. Yeah. Um, because the more we give, I do believe, the more we receive. Uh -huh. you know? um, not uh -huh. even... I don't give to receive, but I feel like you get to really find yourself by giving, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's very important, man. I, I come from a, um, a background where um, I think a lot of people got to, a lot of strangers just got mm. to, you know, lend a hand when I needed, you know? Uh, and I'm, I'm, um, I come from a city that does not have much, but we always give, you know, and yeah. help other people. So. My, my my belief is that when, whenever I can or whenever I can, I always try to, you know, extend myself, you know, be it through philanthropy work or be it through um, empowerment program, like yeah. a new project I just launched. Um, it's it's just the core who I am, and I really want to, I don't want to stop doing that. Yeah, I love that. I love yeah. that. Now, you've got three South African music awards to your name, right? Correct. You could be making it four in just over a month when the summers take place again. Of course, motion nominated for Best Pop Album. You've got some stiff competition within there. The Shikanas, Jeremy Loops, you know what I mean. But th that was the body of work. I remember you came and dropped it and you came to studio actually Great. for an interview. How are you feeling about adding that four? I think it's, it's, it's exciting, you know. Also, yeah. to, if I have to be honest, man, also one of my artists, Bonge, is nominated for Best Pop Yes, Bonge, you know, yeah, yeah. We also had her on yeah, the show, yeah. yeah. She's, she's under my label, and it's cool, man. Like, I feel like with with Summers, you know, being an artist that actually, you know, has, like, English as the seventh language, seventh language, <laughs> yeah. it's, it was always a, a, a fun challenge for me to kind of try to write really good pop songs, you know, and I feel like my head is somewhere else, you know, like yeah. win winning would be a cool thing, but also I'd love for, I mean, everyone in, in, um, nominated <coughs> really cool, like Shekinah, Bonja, Jeremy yeah. Loops, you know, so I'm, I'm just excited, man, I'm excited for everyone, and it's really exciting time for music. Yeah, very, very exciting time for music, and nine months ago, Drake dropped his album Certified Lover Boy. of course, more recently, we've had Honestly, Never Mind. These are both projects that you have had, you know, the honor of working on, I guess. Does it ever hit you that within working on these albums, you're also contributing to the global sound of music? You know what I mean? Very much. I think for anyone that has followed my, my journey, that, no, there's always a phrase that comes uh, very regularly, which is like pretty much reviving the glory days of African pop music. Uh -huh. um, and my yeah. aim as an artist is an African creative. I think for me, I don't like using the word, but the biggest flex that I've done some really <laughs> incredible work uh, helping shape, you know, uh, pop culture globally from here, yeah. right here from home, you know, so yeah. um, Yes, I'm very much aware of what we're doing. I'm very much aware of the impact mm. um, uh, Of the sound globally and just yeah. helping shape the needle way 
the music will be going for the next however long, you know, so, yeah. um, and it's such an honor. <laughs> mm, definitely, and you mentioned over there African pop and how the world sees it and all of that. Beyonce is dropping an album very soon and there is going to be quite a bit of African pop influence. She's mentioned the likes of Brenda Farsi, all of that. We know you're very good at keeping secrets. That a uh -huh. that you might be involved in. <laughs> <laughs> Man, everyone, everyone is asking me this question. Because, I, now, I mean, you're here now, Trezor. No, you know, no, I can't really say much. I can't uh. say anything, you know. But all I'm saying is really, I think, exciting time for African music. And yeah. I'm just fortunate to be part of the movement at the forefront, helping shift and shape how music will be sounding, but from an African perspective perspective yeah yeah and you've worked on quite a couple of songs and records with uh, drake obviously over the two albums which one's your favorite if you do have one is there one maybe it was the first one that you wrote or produced and you're like gee whiz this is fire man like there's so many incredible songs man like yeah. first of all shout out to oliver oliver el Kati. that's like my brother man that yeah. guy changed my life he's drake business partner and a really good friend of mine um his ears are crazy like uh, yeah he gets to understand i think you know, he's the first person that ever reached out to me, so... Sure. Um, um, and to be honest, man, it's a very tough one, but there is a song <laughs> on, the, on the album. I mean, we did Fountains last year, but there's a song on the album uh, called Down Here, where I sing the chorus. Uh -huh. um, man, it's it's different, you know? It, it, has, it has a different <laughs> feel, man. It's really different, but I really just like it because it's... It's it's very different to what Drake will do, and we 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 managed to uh, create something magical. It literally, Drake, Noah Forty was like his man, you know, production yeah. and myself, just the three of us, and it's yeah. it's, it's magical, man. Yeah, absolutely yeah. magical. So what's next? What's next for Trezor? You know, so much has happened. You've done incredible things, and uh, you've got big goals. I can imagine. Can you lead us into? What's coming up? Um, um, for me, I think that what next really global takeover for me yeah. um, as a songwriter, as a producer, I really want to help shape like the next three decades of what African pop, I, I mean, global pop music will sound like with a lot of African influence in it. Yeah. But most importantly, I think we've never had like an African pop star, you know, on the weekend level, you know, so that's really my aim in just helping shape like how people see the continent when it comes to pop music. Because I feel like every time you go overseas, as an African artist, you've always been boxing Afrobeats or a yeah. piano, or, you know, yeah. and it's amazing. I mean, I love the sound, yeah. but also I'm a very big advocate of like sonic fluidity, man. Be yourself, do your thing, you know, and, mm. and you know, if I can do uh, my piano album, Cubs and Pori, and a song Metallic and Drake and all in Sheesh. one year, I can do whatever I want to do, you know, so yeah. my aim is to be able to really champion that globally and really take it to a whole new level like never yeah. seen before. Talk about versatility. You've been doing all of these genres and now to the global stage. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So it's always such a pleasure having you in studio, my man. Congratulations once again on all the success and everything. And just generally, I think from everyone point of view like it's it's really just awe inspiring to see that all of this stuff is possible and you know we're, we're not just limited to whatever it is that we see over here in the flesh so to bigger and better and we can't wait for the next friday we wake up and you're like surprise yeah. something else is here thank you so much <laughs> yeah, i'm really really excited yeah very nice it's trezor on the 947 top 40 powered by ctm